Okay guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how you can make maps for Counter-Strike 1.6. First of all, you're gonna download Hammer Editor Gold Source. Search this, open above developer community, you're gonna select this link, you double click it and you're gonna extract all of this into your local disk, create a folder called Hammer Gold Source and you're gonna extract everything in here, you don't need to install anything. And then you're gonna come down to the bottom of the page where it says Map Compilers Set Half Life. Here it says Town Links Are Dead, I don't know why, but it works for me. Sonar Half Life Tools, click in here. I'm just gonna go for this one. So, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be opening up this folder and all of this you're gonna extract it on the Hammer folder inside by creating a folder called Sonar Half Life Tools or Compile Tools, wherever it is. And of course you need to install Counter-Strike 1.6. Now, if you're using Windows 11 and you install Counter-Strike 1.6 in program files, you're gonna have problems when it comes to moving the map to Counter-Strike. So I recommend that you reinstall Counter-Strike 1.6 and install it outside of program files. So now I'm gonna open up Hammer and I'm gonna go into Tools, Options, Game Configurations, Edit, you're gonna add, C strike as I did right here and then you're just gonna close it and so the next thing is game data files you're gonna add and you're gonna go to your 1.6 folder valve current strike and select this file the rest will automatically be completed so hit ok back into options build programs C strike CSG browse these are those sonar half-life tools that we extracted the CSG CSG for BSP BSP, RAV, and this. And this is where Hammer will place compiled maps. So, CS 1.6, Valve, Core Strike, Maps. Then go to Textures, and in here you want to add Watt. So, go into Valve, Half Life Watt. Now, go to General, 2D Views. We're going to make our lives easier by enabling these two settings default to 15 degree rotation. Now, I want to go into 3D view, I'm going to extend back clipping plane, as well as model render distance. And I also want undo levels to 100. So, let's make our first map. So click on new, you click on the block tool, and on the center of the map you're going to create a giant block. Browse for the texture. So let me use this one, and press enter. Into the 3D view, into the camera, select textured, press set, and you can move around the camera now. And we W, A, S, and D, you can move around like this. So this giant block, I'm gonna select it, go into Tools, Make Hollow. So I'm gonna texture the sides, so this sky. I'm gonna select Texture Tool, I'm gonna Browse for Texture, type Sky, select Sky. So by pressing Shift-click, it will texture the entire block from all sides. So the next thing is select Entity, and click somewhere on your map, press enter, and we have this entity, so click, alt enter, and change it to a light environment. And then you're gonna shift, click and drag to duplicate this entity, alt enter, and this is gonna be an info player start. Shift, click and drag to duplicate this entity, alt enter, info player, that much. So now I'm ready to compile. So and I'm gonna save it. You can go into the expert mode. I'm gonna just go with normal and hit OK. So now we're gonna open up Construct 1.6, just new game, test 2, and here is our map. So in future tutorials, I'm gonna teach you how you can edit any Construct 1.6 map. Have a wonderful rest of your day.